Thanks tonight. Life for Lauren Assad was not easy when she was in mainstream school. She says that pupils and staff didn't understand her autism. She felt isolated and bullied because of her condition, which led to extreme anxiety and selective mutism. Now at a specialist school near Cambridge for high-functioning autistic children, Lauren is getting national recognition for her artwork. Anna Todd reports. Lauren Assad is a prolific and brilliant artist, but when she first arrived here at Gretton School near Cambridge, she was so anxious, suffered panic attacks, desperately shy, the legacy of her struggles at mainstream school. One outcome, selective mutism. Today, Lauren choosing to speak through her teacher. I face a lot of judgment from teachers and got the worst end of their frustration as a result of not understanding and not knowing how to support me. I was shouted at for not looking at a teacher when she was speaking to me. This is another example to show they don't understand autism. I can't give eye contact. 17-year-old Lauren, who is autistic, has written about her experiences in a letter to Mrs Easton, the art teacher she credits with turning her life around and for recognising her talent. Every day was a new beginning and we built strength together. You make being brave fun and you make me feel safe so I know it's okay to take risks. Mrs Easton entered Lauren's work into a national art competition. Not surprisingly, she won gold for her age group and bronze overall. She was so fragile when she first came and she's just um, confident since that award. She's been projecting her voice more, she's been laughing more, her head's been upright. She's been holding herself, her whole posture's changed, her whole demeanour's changed. It's, been, it's just been fabulous to see her blossoming. In mainstream education, where the focus is increasingly on English, maths and science, Lauren never had the chance to shine, even when she tried really hard. I'd look on the school newsletter every week to see if my school had included me, along with the other students, who had achieved amazing things in and outside of school. I wanted to belong. I'd sit at the back of the achievements assemblies and cry inside while I watched the smart kids up there with their certificates. Mainstream schools do a fantastic job of trying to meet the needs of everyone that walks through their door. Uh, and that's where we're different in as much as we, we are specialists. So we know what the needs of the children are long before they come through our door. Mainstream schools uh, have got fantastic provision within them and they work really hard to try and meet those needs. But there are always children around the edges of those needs that, that can't be met in that setting, which is where we come in really. Lauren still bears the scars of her previous life, but hopes by telling her story, it will help others understand autism and the value of kindness and patience. Anna Todd, BBC Look East, Girton. It really is amazing art, isn't it? Uh, now, anyone who's a fan of crime dramas on TV, you might fancy yourselves as a bit of a forensic expert. But tonight at the University of Bedfordshire, real forensic scientists of the future are training at a mock crime scene near Luton. The aim? To find the clues to crack open the case. It's vitally important work, but of course it's never 